Okay, so this is uh, Aiken State Park. This is one of the put-in areas where you can put a canoe in or rent. And then from here, you go downstream. And uh, those little canoe icons. It's really a short ride, but that noise you're hearing is this artesian well. They say the water is safe to drink. I've unloaded the car. I've got a lot of gear out on the dock. There's the canoe. And I'm going to make sure I got a saw and a hatchet, extra paddle enough gear that if I capsize and go underwater it's about 40 degrees out here so if I capsize and go underwater I gotta uh, change the clothes if I capsize after that I'll probably get hypothermia um, you know unless whatever now this is a slow flowing river and this is like one tributary of it that comes through Aiken State Park and I'm going to try a pad on upstream and make sure I can paddle against this current which shouldn't be a problem then I'll paddle more further downstream and there's a sign that says canoe trail That's downstream to the right. I'm going to go upstream and a little ways I'll be outside of the park. Of course, according to federal law, from my understanding, if you're on a river, no one can, no one owns that land. Everybody owns it and you can go down it. Of course, you got to find some land that Someone will let you launch like a canoe from. Okay, so let's get the canoe loaded. All right. <clears throat> Canoes all loaded up. And I figured out that the late, latest I would be in the water would be 9 o'clock. And it's 10 after 9. In November, 40 degrees, so I'm completely off schedule. Uh... Canoes all loaded up. I brought enough junk in case I get stuck out here overnight and also to test the canoe for camping. That blue jug, everything's tied down. The blue jug that floats is tied to the binoculars. Then I have a savin saw and a hatchet because there may be uh, logs across parts of the river. It's really like a creek. Uh, a couple of Nalgene bottles. I got two gallons of water in case I get stuck out here. Extra paddle tied down. Canoe has a seat, so that's nice. All right, now we'll launch out and get started. I'll let you know if I capsize. I got a change of clothes in case I capsize, but it's, it's warming up pretty good. It's high supposed to be about 62 today. What's great about YouTube is you can <clears throat> look at videos like how to get into a canoe, you know, when it's in the water and minimize the chance of you tipping over. 
instead of just kind of winging it and using common sense. Common sense usually works, but you know, it helps to see someone on YouTube do it. Okay, so I uh, just launched the canoe. I've been paddling upstream, haven't gone very far. It's real easy to go upstream, so that's great. And you can probably see there's a little bit of a current. So, uh, and then what I'm using, I got a waterproof camera, Nikon AW100. Okay, I've, I've pushed off from the bank so you can see me. I mean, this is how fast the current's going. This, this creek or river or whatever, it's known to have a slow current. Um, but then, actually I'm on the side, I'm not out in the middle. But, uh... Oh, so then I got a little flotation float hooked hook to the camera in case the camera falls over. Everything else is tied into the boat. Well, I got a flotation on a hatchet. But, um, okay, so now I'm like... I'm still on the side. Okay, so now I'm in the middle, more or less. I need to... I got a... a uh, I forget what it's called. I got a tripod that wraps around stuff. I need to mount this camera. But anyway sideways okay that's me paddling with one hand Oops. well this is me Slamming into the side of the bank. Um, trying to just get in the middle and see. Uh, this little one man canoe, it'll get a little tipsy, but not bad. Well, this I pushed off from the bank, so I'm zooming back. Alright, I'm going to turn this off for a second. <laughs> 